Hey guys, it's Game from Says Says here, and welcome back to another video. Today's video will be counting down my top 10 favorite videos of 2017. I hope you all enjoyed. See ya! Okay, so this is uh, number 10, and this was, was my Uno, my very first Uno video on the channel. It was actually a lot of fun. Uh, I got to definitely with the DLCs of the rabbits and stuff. You know, I didn't own it. Someone who obviously was hosting it owned it, and it was really a lot, a lot of fun. And I just instantly started naming um, like a rabbit that was literally on top of the deck of cards with the player cards, and I named it Harry because it looked like he was going around wetting himself. It was a lot of fun. And I love Uno personally. I love Uno. I love playing the card games. And since she won it, I found out on Xbox that it came out. Um, I had just instantly thought to myself, I've got to buy it. I've got to buy it. It is a legend, and it really is. It is. It says a lot about a card game from like being the oldest card game and everything, and now it's getting like upgraded to like. Unisoft has upgraded it onto obviously onto a console and PC and everything. It's just showing old games can be upgraded to be number one bestseller to now. Even though it's like, oh yes, it's the old car game. Who knows? We could have Snake and Ladders Ladders on on our Xbox. It could be like a co op thing on our Xbox by next year. Who knows? That might happen if Uno has made it um well over the years with the car game and buying it for like two pounds for a pack. And you bought this for a fiver, and oh boy, you made a good choice in buying Uno, especially DLCs as well. A lot of the DLCs are amazing with the cards you can get, pick up and put down, and just seeing just like the atmosphere of what plays was just assumed. And I, I know I did play this on my own because not my friends own it. If I had friends that owned it on Xbox One and actually wanted to be in the video, I would have recorded it. But it was just me and I was playing randoms. It was a lot of fun. Um, I just then started picking on players. It was just honestly... Um, well, it wasn't really me picking on players. There was more picking on me. <laughs> when I tried to pick on them, but it didn't really work. Same, a lot of my videos, when it's about cope being on my own and people going against me, uh, I don't know if they know me or is it just, oh, he looks, she looks a bit a bit funny, she does, which is an uh, end her now. <laughs> but it's really, honestly, you know, it was just a really fun video to record. I enjoyed it a lot, especially with the rabbit I named Harry going around wetting himself. It was just amazing. I even wet myself in this video. No lie, no lie. I actually did. You know, I didn't uh, say anything. It was just me laughing so much. And I just, I just I don't know. Anything that I find hilarious, I just sat laughing. And it was just absolutely hilarious. And I hope you guys found it funny as well. Because I found it funny. <laughs> Especially. Uh, it was just so funny. And the, the cars and everything. A lot of people um stuff like no, thank god no one texts me um <laughs> when in the middle of record uh, like no in the middle of recording it or even after i left the game oh you were rubbish you no one like texts me like because none of get that on like co-op games and stuff when i'm like playing cod or something someone sent me messages oh you bad you but it was just on you know it was the first time ever i thought okay someone's gonna bound to send me a text but no one did so thank god that doesn't mean if you guys watching you got an xbox and you got uno next time I, I i'm i'm there playing do not get the idea to send me a message after you proof recording saying you crap or something or you're rubbish or something you're so bad and call me names do not do that please don't be that guy uh please but anyway uh let's go on to number nine Mikey boy, oh god, the the amount of fun! I love this game. I literally a day after I bought the game, I was playing it with, um, as you guys know, with Cat and also Michael and stuff. I was meant that, true fact. Me and um, um, 
Kat and uh, Michael was all going to record together, but then uh, Kat, uh, I'm not going to say what happened, he just um, he just couldn't show up for recording. I'm not going to say the reason, but that uh, it was really disappointing, but I'm glad that uh, Michael tagged along and said, oh yeah, sure, we can record plans for the zombies. And it was just hilarious, just me going around as an all sad, just with a bloody holly wreath on my face. It wasn't even Christmas when I was recording this. That's the funniest thing is, it was like a couple of months like probably um a couple of, like a month after Christmas, I was recording this, and I just I just loved going around as an art star, and then it just had um Michael going around as a foot soldier with, with his little Russian hat on. It was absolutely hilarious and stuff. And then I remember uh, we was on teams. I remember we switched teams, and where it's basically the game put us on. I have to go like you know, one fee fee against uh, Michael, and it was a lot of fun, and that's why the title was called Horsey Game On, was basically, I was taking on the challenge of uh, Michael and stuff, it was really, really a lot of fun, it was honestly the best thing I've ever done, you know, it was our second collab on the channel, and the last time we did it was with, uh, it was actually uh, in 2016, when we did our, basically our, my roleplay, which is returning, <laughs> just thank your lucky stars it will be coming um but i'm not entirely soon until my minecraft disc is fixed i'll get a new one but anyway moving from that um yeah me and michael work well together i'm hoping for more collabs in the future with michael um when he gets his channel kicks back on again i there will be links to everyone who's been taking part in the videos and everything. Not everyone, the links will be down there, but just the people's channels or even networks who've been in, uh, obviously in this will be uh, obviously in the description. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Plants of the Zombies is a well-known game. Can't wait to get number two. And hopefully, well, like I said, we hopefully me and Michael would do more collabs in the future. And I love to do that. Honestly, I would love to do more collabs with everyone that I've done over this year, even like previous years when it's just me and Alex. I'd love to do that again. And a lot of the things that we did in 2016, even now, it was amazing. I know a lot of my stuff now has been more solo-related content. Uh, than the beginning of the year and stuff and i do apologize for that not a lot of people play with me no more or moved on better consoles or even just don't talk on discord or on skype anymore or even just doesn't come on the line in general so i can't talk to everyone at the same time and yeah it's just i know it's annoying i know a lot of you are thinking oh I'll just just record with someone find someone it's not that easy but at the end of the day i'm glad we have had these memories and make these videos with my friends been a lot of fun so if you guys want to see more plants first on me the second one when i get it or even uh, more the first one uh, let me know uh, i've tried to get obviously maybe um i can get the glitch uh 66 on it uh obviously you no know, ruben or even uh, michael back on it again because i would love to do a series on this our funny montage it was a lot of fun i really enjoyed it and i not really enjoyed getting eat up by uh, the chompers that was one thing i didn't like in the video i remember um yeah there was one thing being the zombies you're getting eaten by a chomper <laughs> and also getting eaten by a chomper you've never seen a day but anyway it was a lot of fun and let's go on to number eight First ever episode when me and Catman, or no Cat now, uh, did a basically a review on the game for Honor. It was a lot of fun, honestly. Actually, getting the chance to just come out of elements, not just coming playing games together, was actually talking about a game that I have played and he has seen, and pretty much just putting our views on it. It was really, really amazing. I, I enjoyed doing collabs with a cat it was really really a lot of fun honestly it is uh, a lot of fun 
with a cat and everything just doing a lot of videos together i wish um i remember we did the second episode and i, I want to do more definitely we want to do more by 2018 i i want to want to play more with him i want to talk more with him i want to give out more like reviews and games i want to do interviews with youtubers i want to do all that stuff all that great stuff and um just a lot of things that went in this video special thank you so so much uh, to Cat for actually editing this together. He got a gameplay together. He basically uh, put images together. He did my links and everything. Oh, my thumbnail was done by him. I will be. Uh, I, I am forever grateful to Cat for how much he has done in the last two years for me. Coming up to two years, I say that he's done so much for me, and I'm so grateful. And I don't know if I say it enough to any of my friends that's helped me come this way. But I really do mean it. Cat has been there since the beginning of the channel. And so he basically picked me up when I was down. And he's been there since pretty much since everything's been going well for me on the channel. And I really enjoy his company and chats. I hope we can do more by 2018. Verona was honestly, I so now Verona is on the way. I would like to, uh, for you guys to actually see more of the Shamrock show. And more potential uh, of the show and everything. Even you guys can leave game sessions and stuff like that. Any games that you want to leave in the comment section, what you find that we should uh, review on in the next Shamrock Show, or even just a boost us a bit more, who we could interview. Uh, possibly it could be small, it could be you, big YouTubers that we can get try to get hands on. It could be our friends, it could be your friends, it could be anyone that we can get our hands on. It could be YouTube that needs a little push in their channel, and we're happy to give it to them. Um, and stuff like that, even challenges and stuff. We've not even done a challenge yet. We're thinking of a lot of challenges we can do. Even though me and Kat um, could possibly meet up, even though we're not that far away. He's from Ireland, I'm from the UK. And it, it doesn't take that long to get a trip over. Maybe we could do, uh, I don't know, like something weird, but that that's not till we've kind of set boundaries on the face of your stuff. Which is something um, is uh, going to get onto next. So, yeah, so much show it was really good fun. I hope you guys did enjoy it as well. I know it was the first episode, a bit awkward, but it was, oh no, it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it a lot anyway. Uh, let's go on to number seven. When for honor, uh, come, like, come back to this I would personally change it to be somewhat similar to what we've already had in games where we've had the combat system to be really easier to get yeah. down to a T with like, it's not messing around with like swinging your hand around stick and then like charging the attack it's like really confusing but I know there's a lot of people with it like, moaning with obviously 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 moan with that side of like oh the combat system fine but if you if you know the control of the inside out and you're fine with having a challenge and stuff and you're like the other person that think I like the old way where I've just gotten on with it I like that easier type of way to get around the controller in combat systems then I am personally that person that like number seven on the list guys is uh, m my uh, pretty much playthrough of Finex Love this was called Foxy proposed to me. This one was absolutely a weird one. I really enjoyed it though, even though, I, I mean, I got proposed by Amatronic. How close can you get in real life? Someone proposing to me in game. Not to say that's happened to me yet, but, um, well, it kind of, it has, it, it has, you know, that's the closest to marriage I can get in a game or in real life. It, it was this game that set off Foxy's ending. Oh boy, I am married to a fox, but a fox killed me. Am I still alive then at this point? Am we still, is the divorce papers come through yet? Yeah, I, I don't know, let's just, just ring up and check. Hello, hello? Yeah, I'm just calling for the divorce papers. Oh no, I've gone through the wrong line, haven't I? <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, this video was just a lot of fun in general. Um. Just to record, sit back and try something, do a little role play, put on voices. Now, I love putting on voices for characters when they have no, like, you just have text, nothing else. And I love putting on voices. Uh, like, I love, do, I pretty much do every time in videos, I always 
my voice changes, my accents go deeper, I turn Irish, I've gone like really really cute and start blushing at something, uh, at something like my little baby voice or something, like, oh it's so cute and adorable, and I, know, I want it, I want to pet it, and, and stuff like that, it's just, I love doing voices, and this is one of my favourites out the whole lot of the series, the first episode getting married to Foxy, you guys don't know, you know my favourite character is Mango, I love Chico, I have a crush on Foxy, he is dashing, he is really dashing, no I'm joking guys, I do ha have someone in mind that he looks similar to, but I'm not going to say, um, unless um, my editor um, decides to put a face up, there you go, now you know. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it was a lot of fun. I love putting on faces, especially this one. You know, it was a dating sim game. I actually surprised to like dating sim games. They actually come out pretty quirky. Not the ones that actually pin you to the back mattress. Not them dating sims. No, 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 no. The fun and cocky and funny sides of relationship that can go terribly wrong or terribly good. Them, them funny little twists on things. Not the one that put you on the mattress. I don't like them. Like, that's like... That's like dad, Daddy Simulator. Oh, boy. First man you see. Papoon, he wants to pin you to the mattress. Yeah, I'm probably never going to play that on the channel or any other game like that. But you, you get the point. It is friendly king magic <laughs> anyway yeah it it's just honestly it, it was I, and also personally i love fnaf as you guys know i love fnaf it's my favorite horror game um out there it's like the first game scares me <laughs> scares me since it came out i don't know if i talked about it before but you want guys want to know tell me in the next video you want to know or any other time and I love the fact I went on about band aid and stuff because Foxy went on about noon band aid and I started to start, okay, it's George Michael. Okay, okay. And I thought, you know what, since, it, you know, um, it for today would have been his first, first year since he has passed. And I thought in that video, I didn't see for, okay, I needed to do a George Michael reference. It wasn't anything bad, even John Michael fans in this video. I love George Michael, I love band aid. But they need a little uh, promotion, a little shout, shout out to show my support from, and stuff like that. But anyway, this was I loved it. I loved doing FNAF content and stuff. Um, I want to do a theory. Uh, that's um, I'm not gonna say too much in depth to this, but it, it's coming. It's a good theory. I've been waiting for a while, and finally, my answers has a promotion. Oh, it's good. It's gonna get hot. Anyway, uh, on to number six. Hey, no, 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 no thanks. No, um, no, just because you said that, no. We saw show chains. No one seems to be here. Maybe I'll check back later. I'm going to do it as a joke. I thought no one would be there, but Foxy wants me. Foxy obviously wants me. God, Foxy, what you want? Hey there. Uh, April's Fool's Day uh, video of my face reveal. Now I know a lot of you in the comments was just screaming at me. I never, I just, I'm sorry guys. I am <laughs> so sorry. But it, it kind of needed to be done. It kind of, now I know you guys are all be sat there in the machines watching this back going, oh my god, it's so cringy. How should I fall for it? It's like, it's like, like I should have saw it coming and, Yes, 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 you, you should have saw it coming, to be honest with you, you should have caught saw it coming, but I I will in the future do a face reveal, maybe next 2018, might you have a conference, or even just in a couple of years time, just maybe, unless someone can um, try to convince me that cameras are not that bad, unless you guys can give me encouragement that you guys won't pick on me if I do a face reveal. That's the only reason. But anyway, I know that a lot of you guys were mad and everything with this, but this had to go in, and I enjoyed it so much, making April Fool's Day. I did it last year. It was a lot of fun. I do apologise. I do. 
together and just uh, went a little naughty on the bed, as you would say, and just woohoo here and there. And obviously, I got pregnant because of it. And I found out near the end of the video I was pregnant, and honestly, it was a lot of fun. I found I love The Sims so much. It's cocky. It's weird. It just sums up me in a whole of a nutshell, and a lot of my friends as well. And just The Sims for me, I love. I know, I know you guys love The Sims. A lot of you've been so supportive and stuff. A lot of you just at some episodes you might have turned out, but this had to have been the funniest because it was my second thumbnail I made. Uh, for this one, and I, that I made like customly, and I was so so goddamn proud of it because I basically did me and basically Michael phone me and look, I was pregnant on the thumbnail, and basically had like you know a uh, ducky and catman just like shocked as it and everything and like you know comfort me and everything come there and I had a cake falling down, cake, yes. If you don't believe it, men or women watching this video. Sometimes women, when they're pregnant, they do crave a lot, just like the other thing. And I honestly thought, you know, what, what, what I, what, what would my cat and all would crave about? Potatoes? Oh yeah, definitely. But what most women crave about? Cake. I had to put cake in there, and it had to be fallen, or tons of it, and I was so proud of it. Honestly, it was like my second thumbnail. I was like, sitting on my God, I made the best thumbnail." Ever, no one's gonna ever top this, and I was so happy about it. And the fact I made my own thumbnail, I thought I feel proud of myself. I've actually done something on my own without relying on my friend or something. You know, no schemers, cat thumbnail. He's done. They are pretty amazing. They're better than mine. I have to personally say. But at the time I was like, when I made that thumbnail, I thought, my God, I am amazing. Go. Well, Oh, no one would just ever believe that I made this one. No one would ever will. Um, yeah. Unless you guys figured it out, then well done, you're smart cookies. Anyway, yeah, it was a lot of fun, and it was just... I love Sims in whole, and I want to do a Sims uh, 4 playthrough. If there's be vampires, like I said, I will be bringing these characters along again, but making, my, like, making characters of what you guys would think uh, should be in The Sims... And I will make them so other YouTubers, other my friend YouTubers doing something like that, something along the lines. And The Sims 4, like, once I get it, just, just save them. Hold on. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. And yeah, um, I'll be doing more of this until the series will come to an end where maybe our kids meet, kids will grow up or maybe we just grow old and stuff. And it will end like that. And I don't want to show too much of it to the end because I don't want... It's horrible things. It's not not nice, but we see what happens. Maybe I will end it around about when it gets to thirty episodes. When the Sims do might end, and I might start another series on the Sims, like Baby Challenge or something like that, or even just doing uh the Sims Four, setting up that and everything. Um, halfway between two thousand and eighteen, something up, like, something I would love to do. Uh, definitely. Um, want to get my hands on it. But anyway, this. It was this was a weird one. I have to say, it was definitely a weird one. Me getting pregnant in Sims, not accepting it. Mm, I don't. I I am looking forward for you know the baby. As you guys know, later on I did uh did um ask you guys what a uh, couple of episodes beforehand. I think you know, this episode I did say, um, can we have a ba baby's name or something? And you you guys was commenting and stuff, and I just picked them up when at Spartan. Um, my one of my friends and he won a uh, baby name of Jessica. Once again, thanks a lot, man. Um, he, uh, I will. No, I might ask them first. Uh, but uh, Minecraft uh, funny moments, like the type of skit type thing on my own and stuff. Uh, I'm playing on the high pixel and uh, Mindplex as well. High pixel? What? <laughs> Lifeboat and Mindplex. Sorry about that, guys. I think I'm on PC again. <laughs> Basically. Uh, our time is now. This was the one of the really I enjoyed doing this, playing the games in general, just having random people come up to me trying to kill me and stuff in game modes, and I'm just streaming and saying go away, I will come victorious, and just 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 being me, I just like then just started singing and stuff, referencing things. It was just absolutely uh, bonkers, and I enjoyed making. 
honestly, I love Minecraft. I love Minecraft, honestly. And I love it when I'm streaming at Minecraft. <laughs> For stupid things, at uh, bugness, and also especially it's a better together update and stuff. And a lot of this stuff, I was looking at cute things, I was looking at animals and stuff. And a lot of things I found weird, I found it cute, I found I got annoyed at it. All, all put together, just seeing all sides of me just go wild in this video. And especially when I just like honestly, I can I love Minecraft as you guys know. It is just honestly, it's the best thing ever that I've obviously came to home, so if it's like the first ever like con like control console like game I actually got to play. Like I used to play like Mario and Sonic and then when the Xbox three six come out, Minecraft is the first thing I actually turned to for my cart and it's always been my passion. Uh, I love Minecraft to the fullest. You know, I've not uploaded a lot this year and everything like the uh, like obviously last year and everything. I'm hoping to do more in the future and stuff and it was a lot of fun, honestly. Um, it's just, I love Minecraft, honestly, guys, there's not much to say, it was just a lot of fun, just me smacking people, <laughs> running from different things, and just having my friends, like, you know, sending me pattern fights, sending me messages when I was recording, which gets annoying and stuff, I, I, it's on my half, I should turn it off, uh, but uh, all in all, it was a lot of fun, and I hope to do some more, uh, obviously, maybe with friends in the future and stuff, collabs, maybe with Black Knight, maybe with Blaster, Michael, so many that I could uh, go on and actually do it with, and just so many fun and laughs we can have, um, oh, but that's not until the future, as of course you guys know, and yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, that's why it's gonna be my number four. If it's just, I just really went out on this one. I honestly did, and it was just really good. And I know it was like probably the first time I ever done that funny moment skit. You know, it's Minecraft story mode. I love Minecraft story mode. I want to do season two. You know, I played on it. It was a lot of fun to do, especially this episode set it off for me, especially with a, a little Minecraft murder involved with it and stuff, and with YouTubers. I would never imagine actually a game to get Minecraft YouTubers put together and put them in a game and actually get them to do voices. It was amazing I put together. I really enjoyed it with Dan, uh, you know, Dan to the M, Sampy Long Nose, well, Sampy Long Head, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, Cat Sparkles, you've had Stacey Plays and, uh, and Lizzie, um, LD Shadow Lady, that's the nickname, Lizzie, I remember that one, <laughs> and just, like, it was just a lot of fun to do, and just finding out who was the white pumpkin, and especially in this video, it set off for me, when I just instantly, just found it hilarious that the cards just, just wrapped with each other, half and obviously do claps together, half and do know each other, half and don't even know each other, and it was like really well to put together, and I was just, in this episode, I think I was more sad, because I wish Cat and Sparkles, had more lines in it, but it, all in all, Microsoft Mode, just one of the best is Telltale games of for me ever, just to be made, especially gone to season two. Like The Walking Dead was good, but but that's that's just gone to season three and stuff. And I'm hoping that this will go on season three because it's just well, it, there's so much things that I want to happen. Will they ever return? Will they ever go anything? Will there be more YouTubers? In the future, that be actually asking for Jesse's uh, help in the future and stuff, with causing trouble or stuff, or maybe learning a lesson because this game is all about learning lessons, learning who you can trust and who you can't not trust. And it's just honestly, it's the best thing ever. And I love, I honestly love Microsoft Mode just for it's just for its com compassion within the Minecraft community and Telltale just did a really well done don't job with it in general and I really enjoyed it and even though I'm on episode 7 it was just honestly it is just amazing I cannot wait till season 2 and even just see what happens in season 8 and what's going to happen in season 7 so that I've not even left to record and everything I can't wait for it Honestly, it was a lot of fun, and yeah, that's, anyway, that's why it's my number three. On the next on the list is number two. It's my GCA 5 Music Field Pack 2 with Blaster. This was a lot of fun to do, and so just all you guys got here is just 
just wonderful music and stuff put together in GTA and stuff. A lot of the songs there, it's recreated in GTA. It was a lot of fun. Me and Blaster had a blast making this. Let's see what I did there. Uh, uh, okay, I stop. <laughs> anyway, it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it, putting this together and stuff. I would love to do more. Part 3, I would love to do more of this. Skits and stuff, putting in songs. Even make my own music and stuff. I'd love to release my own music and stuff from parties I've done. I'd love to do that. Which I've obviously written. I just need singers and stuff. And love to do that. And GTA, I love playing it and stuff. And especially as a series as a whole. Me and Blaster had a lot of fun with it. And I hope obviously you guys too i know gta it when i started it it was just me and alex and um jim it wasn't that much of a kit off but now since i've done a lot of these collabs with different people it's kind of set off nicely and i really do enjoy that so yeah it was a lot of fun thanks so much for Blaster for helping me make this because without him it wouldn't have been made let's be honest he was a sad the show to us found a lot of the lead roles and stuff in this like, it was really, really passionate and stuff, and I felt really involved with him. And especially now, like, we've so much apart, we love playing together, we love talking to each other. We have we had a little love saying here and there, but you know, you know how it sets you off and everything. It was just amazing just doing this together, and it felt really, really, like, really good. A lot of the scenes had a romance in it like a lot of the songs and stuff and it was just really funny in a whole and I really enjoyed making it especially half time it was just absolutely bonkers the fact things that you guys wouldn't obviously seen if Blaster was obviously recording it and you just see it on my screen the fact of he actually came out the car and everything it was just amazing and also a little message to our friend Sack it was just on haul just run nicely and I really enjoyed it I hope I do more like this in the future like I said Anyway, on to number one. Eve special. I really, you know, it was just six days ago now since it was made. Well, yeah, six, six days. I'm, I'm right, don't worry. <laughs> it's six days since it was made. It is the favourite one because I got to spend Christmas. It's not just a friend. Well, the fact someone I've been had a not crush on. It's not like Harry Styles. Calm down, ladies watching this video. It's not that type of crush. It's just someone I've actually really been liking. And so I feel like really understand me. And we have a lot of humour, a lot of sense of humour. And says so she's a dinosaur. Who could not love a dinosaur in a very nuts trail? I mean, come on. I'm a penguin. I'm a pingu, for that matter. I don't think anyone can love a penguin much like I can love a dinosaur. And that is Blasto. And it was just amazing spending Christmas Eve with him. Even a lot of my other, my other friends and stuff. And just going around causing mayhem on Christmas Eve. You wouldn't think you would see this in GTA. you think, okay, they're going to be doing something Christmassy from, you know, messing around and stuff with, with the snowballs or something. No, we, we went in on this video. It was just a lot of work. The fact that I recorded up to the an hour an hour session with blasto and i don't i don't know did i ever tell him that i recorded half so on my phone it was like pretty much separated to an hour and a half and only only 16 minutes of it was used now that is pretty impressive guys that's pretty impressive but i actually you know, we both sat there just like, you know, just messing around, doing random stuff and just going along with it. Like, it was nothing. It was just honestly amazing. I, I enjoyed GTA. I enjoyed Christmas with Blasto. It was a lot of fun playing with him, just streaming, go and go at anything. And we're just having little Christmas things here and there, saying Christmas things, going on about different Christmas things and especially the snow and everything. Just often as little in outfits and stuff. And I mean, oh, come on. Who looked the cutest? Who actually looked the cutest? His little rain Rudolph shredder. I mean, that was the cutest thing ever. And I, that's basically what I want to wrap up on. Um, that's my 2017 wrap up, guys. This is the last video you guys will see in 2017. It has been a wonderful, incredible journey with a lot of my friends and a lot of people that have not even. Uh, talked in ages with it's been a breathtaking one and i want to thank you all for joining me on that 
in 2018, I would be my promised utmost to upload more and not just leave it for nine months straight. I know there wasn't a lot of videos within 2017 and a lot of it was just missed by nine months of just no Wi-Fi. I would promise in 2018, it would be a better year for the channel for Expand and Gaming just in general and actually having better set up by 2018 or even 2019 the late. I really enjoyed this video a lot of the links on my friends channels will be in the description and so if we start this 2017 the best and hopefully 2018 even better thank you all for joining me happy uh, new year if you all I hope you have your new year's relations all sorted and stuff like that I will be obviously recording for on up you're recording a lot of stuff 2018 and i love to share a lot of this stuff with you and if we do more challenges and stuff in the future shamrock shows and ever so much more that i want to show you guys in 2018 but for now i hope you have a happy new year and i see you all in 2018 guys